In this deck, you will be answering 20 two-digit subtraction problems. Okay, so you'll be answering 20 double-digit subtraction problems. Some of the problems require regrouping, right? That means they require you to go next door and get 10 more. And some problems do not require regrouping. You don't need to stop and you just solve the problem. Okay, and all of them, whether it requires regrouping or not, you'll be able to move this to cross things out and you'll also be able to move your tens rod over, okay? So you'll have to look at the problem and decide which ones you need to use these items for and which ones you don't need to. So I want you to keep in mind the poem. If there's more on the top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. Numbers the same, zeros the game. All right, so here we're always, always, always gonna start, start, start on the right in the ones place. And every time I want you to ask yourself, if I have six cookies, can I give one away? And if the answer is yes, then imagine yourself giving one of those cookies away and you just write how many are left over, okay? If you wanna use the poem, you're gonna use the poem. So you're gonna say, is there more on the top or is there more on the floor? You're gonna ask yourself, is there more on the top or is there more on the floor? And here we see that six is more than one. So if there's more on the top, no need to stop. So we're just gonna subtract, okay? Six minus one is five. Now we go to our tens place and seven minus two is five. So 76 minus 21 equals 55. Okay, here we go again. If I have five cookies, can I give six away? Do I have enough? No, I don't have enough. And we know that if we don't have enough cookies, we're gonna go next door and get 10 more, right? So let's use our poem to help us with that. If there's more on the top, no need to stop. But there's not more on the top, is there? There's more on the floor. So if there's more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. All right, we went next door, we got 10 more. So now we're gonna cross out the five because we don't have five tens. Now we have four tens. And we're gonna cross out the five because we don't have five ones. Now we have 10 plus five, which is 15. Okay, and now we can subtract. 15 minus six equals nine. And four minus three is one. Let's do another one together. Okay, here we see the problem 39 minus 17. We're always gonna start, start, start on the right. And we're going to say, if there's more on the top, no need to stop. Is there more on the top or more on the floor? Well, here we see that nine is more than seven. So there's more on the top, no need to stop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and subtract. Nine minus seven is two. And now we go over to our, one, or to our tens place. Three minus one is two. So 39 minus 17 equals 22. Let's do one more together. All right, we're gonna look at our ones and we're gonna ask ourselves, if I have six ones, do I have enough for my seven friends? Well, no, I don't, do I? So I will have to go next door and get 10 more, right? If there's more on the floor, seven is more than six. If there's more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. All right, I got 10 more. So now I'm gonna cross out the seven because I don't have seven tens now. Now I have six tens. Then I'm gonna cross out the six ones because I don't have six ones. I have 10 plus six, which is 16. All right, so 16 minus seven is nine. And six minus two is four. All right, well, we did four problems together. That means you only have 16 left to do on your own. Okay, just keep in mind the poem. If there's more on the top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. And I wanna show you one more. The other part of that poem goes, if the number's the same, zero's the game. So here, if I have two cookies, I can give two away to my friends and I'll have zero left over. So I don't need to go borrow anything. I just won't have any left over, right? If the number is the same, two is the same as two, then zero is the game, right? Two minus two equals zero. And then six minus three is three. 
All right. I know you guys are going to do great on this. Just keep trying. It will be hard at first, but you guys will get it. Have a great day.